Um, so this is Fred Wiseman's signature, and this is his plane, and his picture. So this is what we're doing on, now, now I'm on the back side. This is what we're doing on February 18th, 2011. That would be 100 years after Fred Wiseman actually did this uh, uh, event. So we are starting at 6 a.m. You arrive at the Petaluma Fairgrounds. Keep in mind, he was going from the fairgrounds to fairgrounds because they didn't have airports in those days. It was, you know, where's the flattest piece of land that I could find that is public? And it's the fairgrounds. So that was a pretty smart thing. So they, oh, we're going to start there. We're going to begin walking at 6.30 a.m. We are going to uh, go up Petaluma Boulevard North just by Cinnabar School. And uh, maybe, I don't know if Lee's going to tell you the story about that. I might if I have time. And then we go across Corona Road, which is across Highway 101. Which, you know, in, in me doing all of this, you know, planning this, I've never driven that little path. You know, I've seen it a million times but for 40 years, but I've never <laughs> driven it. And then I ended up walking. Oh, this is interesting. There's a good restaurant right there, I noticed. Anyway, so across uh, Corona Road, and then we get on McDowell, go up to McDowell, east on Old Redwood Highway. Now, when we're there, there's uh, some nice new buildings built. And then the road stops, end of city limits. We're going up to Eagle Winery to the Deadman Creamery, D-E-N-M-A-N, Creamery, which Fred Wiseman, according to the newspaper account of 19, February 19th, 1911, he saw the Deadman Creamer. So we know, we know we're on the right path. He basically followed, he was only about an average 100 feet high. So he, he basically followed the railroad, the Northwest Pacific Railroad. So we're, our walking route is roughly that. And one of the things he saw was the Deadman Creamer. So we're, we're going to stop there, restroom stop, everything's fine. And, and off we go. Very interesting place to, to see. It's been there over 100 years. From there, we go back to Old Redwood Highway, and we are going to visit the Power and Implement, Implement Museum of Steve and Nancy Phillips. This is a nonprofit museum that opened once in a while. So, I mean, that's what the, even the newspaper, you know, you see it in the newspaper advertising. And it says, once in a while, we're open. <laughs> so, okay. So anyway, he's open for us. And he has, this guy is a mechanic. He buys machines and then he refurbishes them and gets them to work. You know, farm implements, generators. When I say machines, I'm not talking little radio. Uh, I'm, I'm not kidding. It, 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 this big, from here to there, you know, machine that doesn't work, he gets it working. And that's why it's called a Power and Implement uh, Museum. It is fascinating. I mean, these guys, uh, for people that really are into mechanics, uh, that's a great place. So we're going to stop there. From there, we go to Pangrove. And at Pangrove, we're actually walking on the railroad tracks right there. And we're not, we're walking on the railroad tracks to East Rail Railroad Avenue. So we figure above us is Fred Wiseman, you know, flying by. And we are trying also to get, by the way, um, old vehicles to follow us. You know, with 1911 vehicles, 1915, you know, old Model T's follow us. So I've contacted them. Whether or not they, it, it depends on the weather. They'll come out if the weather's reasonable. If it's rainy, they're not going to bring out their nice old vehicles. So I've already contacted them. We'll see about that. Because, according to the paper accounts, um, People followed Fred on their vehicles. I mean, they they they, they saw him, and there's one account of okay, uh, they they stopped uh, the vehicle stopped in Pendro, got to a phone. He he's he's passing uh, Pendro. He'll be in Katati any moment now. And then they jumped in the car and, and followed him again. So <laughs> off on Petaluma Hill Road or Old Redwood Highway. Those were the two roads. So. We're going to try to do that. And another a World War II uh, f f flyer, uh, pilot, uh, called me, he saw an article. He's going to try to get his old plane and, and fly by, make a, a flyby. 
while we're walking. So a lot of things are happening in Sonoma County. So from there, we go to, we're in Katadi. Uh, in Katadi, we're going to stop for brunch. We're going to see, go to the Katadi History Museum first for a few minutes. Then we have a great brunch by Sally Tomatoes is supplying a great brunch for us in, at uh, Katadi. That's all part of the fee. It's $20, by the way, for the whole thing, plus a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt. Then from there, we're basically walking straight to Santa Rosa, down Santa Rosa Avenue. So with Katadi to Rotary Park to uh, Santa Rosa Avenue to the actual place where he crashed. He, because he did not get to uh, um, the Santa Rosa Fairgrounds. He didn't, he didn't make it. A guy wire broke when he was close over by Mount Taylor. Uh, uh, Paloma Hill Road. Guy wire broke. It got caught in the propeller. He he landed on the ENZ Dairy, D E N Z, and the address is 3367 Paloma Hill Road. And the owners now are the Mazukis, and they've been there since 1933. They are like thrilled that we're landing. We're we're land we're landing there, <laughs> and, and uh, that's where the walk it will end. The bus will be there for us. And those who didn't walk can meet us right there at 1 o'clock. Join us on the bus and get on the bus. It's still $20. And you, you go, we're, the bus will take us first to the Windsor Historical Society because uh, they have an exhibit about Fred Wiseman because according to the 1910 census, he actually lived in Windsor. So that's Windsor's claim to fame, fame there. So from there, we're going to go to the Pacific Coast Air Museum and they will have a a very large exhibit will be there, you know, 45 minutes or so. Uh, they have airplanes, they have, you know, a lot of information there. From there, we'll go to Sonoma County Museum, and at each place, they're going to have snacks for us, too, because, you know, we need to be strong. Um, walkers are to bring, you know, change of clothing, etc. Um, so, a county museum has a display, we'll go there. Then we'll go to the Petaluma Airport. They will have an exhibit, plus we'll see the plaque of Wiseman, and there's a park called Wiseman Park, and from there we'll go to the Petaluma Museum, and they have a wonderful museum there, exhibit, and then from there we'll go back to our vehicles at 7, 10 p.m. So it, it's, it's a long day, ready for this, I already have 23 crazy people signed up, so <laughs> it's uh, to walk, and then I have about five people who are going to meet us at 1 o'clock, and that, not even counting the kids that I hope to get, so uh, it's open to everybody, and uh, more information right there. There'll be a chance for questions 